Well, 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 everybody. This might be finally the news that you have all been waiting for. There's so much to talk about today. We're going to also do a little bit of a discussion as well. We'll do the leaks, but we'll also do a discussion video, which is kind of how I want to handle the SSS stuff going forward when we talk about news and things like that. So with that being said, before we get into this crazy news about you know who, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel right now. I'll give you a second to do that. And hopefully you turn on notifications because it's official. We officially recorded the classic Sonic music video. It's done. We're just waiting on the final edits. So be patient, please. I'm telling you, it's going to be lit. So without further ado, let's get into the news. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why it is significant. So I don't know if you guys have heard the news or, you know, it's been kind of a thing that we've been talking about for a while. We've been getting the S word, AKA, you know who, teased for a long time. Ever since the Android S word first made his way into the game, I think like a month ago. I think it's really been that long. We've gotten a lot of crazy change to the game. We got a whole new game, Sonic Speed Simulator 2.0. We got the AFK auto run feature. We got the daily quest system. It seems like things are finally going into the right direction. It's been assumed that for a while we were going to get the S word. It seems like almost any week now he was coming. As you can tell, we have we had this initially dropped a couple weeks ago. It's kind of like a roadmap for how they were going to introduce everything. The boss battle's already in the game. This still is in the game. These two are in the game. Arsenal Pyramids, obviously right here. So now, you know, we have the S word logo outside the pyramid it just seems like it was time man it, it was time to finally introduce him so without further ado this brand new information and brand new news might give us a timeline or what to expect for this weekend's update i think it's coming this weekend i don't see what else could be added to the game and i'll get into that in a second so let's pull up sonic ss news real quick first things first we found some supersonic eyes which is pretty crazy i don't know if this is for ugc or something like that but yeah this was found on sonic leaks i don't think this is coming anytime soon to the game just wanted to point that out yeah i think it is for the ugc because he has like the plushies or whatever so i would assume that that's what that is and i would love to buy supersonic ugc supersonic is one of my favorite characters in the franchise so i do hope he comes but yeah i just wanted to throw that out there and just give you a bonus leak or whatever but if you guys look at sonic ss news's twitter a brand new this is breaking information brand new render has been leaked on sonic speed simulator roblox and is obviously a picture of luigi the s word the hedgehog aka shadow listen if he comes to the game we'll just start calling him shadow i don't know you guys let me know but the s word leaked out the first official render i don't think there was an official render done for him prior to this so this right here is it he's officially coming to the game it's officially confirmed also also, according to Sonic SS News, we also got a premium Shadow Chow coming to the game. I mean, I would, I just think it's safe to assume he's probably coming this weekend. I'm not 100% sure, but we got the render. We got the Chow. This might be time. This this might be it. I mean, we've known that he was supposed to come for a while. You know, they got sidetracked with some other stuff. And honestly, this is the right time to do it. I was always kind of that guy that was like, listen, we shouldn't just throw him in the game just to get more players back or whatever, just for like quick hype. I think now with all the new changes that have been implemented into the game. While I don't think it's a fully finished product yet, I think this is finally the right time to reintroduce the S word into Sonic Speed Simulator. So, here's the reason why. The reason why is that the core gameplay loop has been completely reinvented. SSS 2.0 was the necessary change that this game needed in order to survive because SSS 1.0 was broken. Progression was too easy, you flew off the map, the maps were too small. There was nothing to do in SSS 1.0 other than wait for the weekly scavenger hunt. It got to a point where I, I would only log in the game to make content. Now, with 2.0, there's reason to log in the game we have the questing system we now have the brand new daily questing system which is now one of the biggest reasons to log into the game the daily adventure system along with sss 2.0 in my opinion is the most important thing that ever happened to this game now especially from a game developer standpoint from an analytical statistical standpoint player count will always be up now people are always going to log into the game multiple times a day to do their daily quest this is an awesome feature it's a source to get red rings which are going to be really important they're already important for like the pets and the progression and upgrade stuff but now there's just like multiple ways to actually accumulate this currency i think that there's listen there's a lot of other things that they can add to truly make the game perfect to make it truly replayable but i think that now sss 2.0 is officially in its like first week of actually being a real game we got all the new maps we got the boss battle we got everything but now there's a reason to log into the game bro like that was the initial problem i foresaw with 2.0 was that there was no content to do there's no replayability whatsoever but now there's actually a reason to play the game bro like we're in a really good spot and i think now it's 
it's officially an appropriate time to add Shadow. I've been saying this forever. I'm like, don't just add Shadow just to add him. You have to add him when the gameplay loop has been fixed. That was always my theory. I always thought that the gameplay loop needed massive, substantial improvement because now 2.0 actually has reasons to play the game as opposed to just waiting for the scavenger hunt, playing the stupid small little maps. You, I literally couldn't even play 1.0. It was unplayable. It was cool when it first came out. It got unplayable very fast. Now, listen, there's some other things that they would need to add to the game to make it truly perfect. I think Chow Garden would be really cool. If they could add some incentives for replayability, in particular, maybe adding levels to the game. Like, if there were replayable levels with, like, S ranks and stuff that you can get, and I'm not sure exactly what the reward would be. Whether it's Red Star Rings or if they ever add in the Chow Garden, get, like, the same type of stuff that you would get to upgrade your Chows, like in Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, adding missions to the levels, like in Sonic Frontiers. Finish the level with 50 rings. Get an S rank. Get this time. Find all the red rings in the level. Maybe you find the red rings in the level and they count towards your red ring count. Just like little things like that, especially because it's a platformer based game. Well, yes, it's a simulator. It's still a platformer. So you got to like kind of think of it in that way, as opposed to how do we make it more simulatory and more Sonic-y, if that makes sense. And I think levels is probably one of the best, if not the best way to do that. As long as the incentives and the rewards are there and it makes you want to do it each and every day. Maybe a hard mode for the levels. Once a day, you get a really big reward for completing a level similar to the daily adventures. Maybe that could be part of the daily adventures because I do like the time trials and they're fun. The only problem with them is they're a little bit too linear. Whereas in the Sonic Adventure games, there's always multiple paths and shortcuts you could take. Time trials, there's only one place you can go. So you're just kind of following a straight line. Levels would add a little bit more variety and spice to it. So that's something I would like to see in the game. But I think right now, I think the gameplay loop is good enough to start dropping the cool characters that people want and having more like maps for progression and way, you know, different ways to level up your character, level up your pets, level up your trail earn skins. I think they should add a cosmetic shop where you can buy trail skins, gloves, shoes, using the red rings. Like, I think there's a lot of things they can do to the game to keep improving upon the system because this system is going to allow us to keep the game going long term. And you can already tell it's already been successful. It's already been successful because especially with auto run and now the daily quest system, concurrent player count is up like a lot. So these systems work. For those of you who are doubting what 2.0 is capable of, it works. Everything works now. Player count is up. Average play session is longer. There's stuff to do in the game now if you didn't understand the vision if you still don't get it i don't know what's gonna help you understand it or help explain it to you but these were all the necessary changes added they needed to happen and now i think it's appropriate to add shadow i don't think we should just get like a filler update next week i hope like they put shadow in and keep working on the replayability and the systems for the game to keep it going longer but yeah basically this is huge news i mean i think this is going to be probably the biggest weekend in sss history if the s word actually comes you know what i'm saying if he actually comes then we're up you know it's going to be a big weekend for sss so we got to prepare man all these features all these changes are going to bring new players into the game give them incentive to keep playing longer and hopefully we can build upon this because while it's still good i think there still needs to be more uses for red rings there still needs to be levels which have been in sonic adventure games which have been in the classic games which have been in the boost games every sonic game has levels they add more reasons to do them more reasons to replay like the cosmetic shop red ring shop or something like that we are in a very good spot it's going to allow mid updates to be good and i just really hope that the shadow event is going to be good i hope we get like a boss battle or a level or just something crazy I don't know if that's going to be the case, but we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. Let me know what you think about this news. If this is truly Shadow Week, then it's going to be everything that everyone has been asking for for a very, very long time. And with all the new stuff that they added, it finally feels like the right time to do it. So let me know what you guys think about all this down below in the comments.